Hello Pisces and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and I'm a Blunt Saggy. And today we're doing this for Pisces singles. So if you have no one in your mind, whoa, sorry about that. No one on your thoughts and no past person you want. If a past person comes back, I apologize in advance, but this video is for you. It's for the month of July. We'll find out when this person's coming, who they are, what sign they could be. We'll get a time frame. We'll get some advice from some Oracle cards and we will also do a yes or no at the end. So if you have a question that you're thinking about, keep repeating it over and over and send that energy my way. The answer will be at the end. So the cards are flying out. They want to talk. So let's see what they got to say for you at Pisces for July of 2021. But again, tarot is timeless. So this is for when you're guided to see this video. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups. What else do we have for Pisces singles in love for July of 2021? And again, as always, tarot, this is a general reading. But if you're guided here, I sure hope it resonates and there is a message for you. So we have the Knight of Wands. What else do we have for Pisces? July 2021. For Pisces singles. That one flew onto the ground. Hold on a second. All right. So the Ten of Wands, the Tower, and the King of Cups. And on the bottom, we have the Four of Swords. So... You're kind of, um, you're missing somebody or you're not sure what to do. You're kind of in this retreat mode where you're, you've retreated to just think. <laughs> so you're just laying kind of like in laying in bed, just trying to think because then I, I see a lot of people here. So you got a lot of options this month, Pisces, and it might be a little overwhelming and you might not know what to do. So let's find out what that's all about. Before we get into all these options and choices, let's find out what the Oracle cards have to say and what message they have for you. For the month of july singles so what do you have for pisces singles what message do they need to hear what card do they need to see please what do you have for pisces single what's message do they need show us the card pisces single july of 2021 rest and rejuvenation which is funny because we definitely see that so let's see what it says with the oracle cards i don't intuitively read them interpret them nothing i tell you what the book says that's how i believe they're meant to be read so the message with this card is it's time to relax you may have been busy lately but you should be soon finding more time to let go and when you do allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there this card indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking so make it your priority your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than unceasing action. It's definitely time to take uh, the time to take the time and just relax. So Pisces, what do you have to surrender to in love in July of 2021? What does Pisces have to surrender to? Surrender to worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body, focus on the power of your heart, and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So Pisces, let's get the clarifier cards. Let's see what's going on. So you have some expected offers. I don't think you see these coming. Um, you have, definitely have a choice. You have two choices in love. So this is you, Pisces. You're the king of cups energy. So you are caring, loving. You have a huge heart. You're very intuitive. You're my, most likely very spiritual, very in touch with your emotions, very understanding of your emotions, and you have been waiting for love. You have the heart to give someone love and you want it unexpectedly. And what's going to end up being a burden to you is the choices that are being presented to you in the month of July, which is the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So let's talk about them. So the Page of Cups is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, so someone who's a water sign. Um, the Page of Cups is in love with the idea of love, and they love the idea of you, Pisces. So this person is going to be very romantic, very heart-centered, uh, see how everything is coming from the heart. So they don't think logically, they just follow their heart, and when they see you, they see a dream come true. So they're going to be very emotional, very good at talking. But remember, they're just a page. So they might be a little bit immature, maybe a little bit younger than you. Maybe they're putting you on a pedestal and not being quite realistic about you. Nobody's perfect, but to this perfect, to this person, they're seeing you as absolutely perfect. Their, their dream come true. 
um, they're seeing you in rose colored glasses. I'm not saying, you know, but I'm sure you understand the message that I'm saying there. So this person is in, in love with the idea of love and you are a dream come true and everything is coming from the heart. Then you have this knight of wands. This person's very fiery. So Aries, Sag, Leo. This person's going to be passionate, magnetic. You're going to be very attracted to this person, but you might not trust them. I don't know why I said that, but it popped in. So you might not trust this person, which might be why you're, you're not sure what journey to take. You're not sure which person to choose. Um, but they both like you and having this choice is a very unexpected choice for you. Um, and you're going to take, it's going to take a connection to your heart center in order for you to make that choice because you're very caught up and you're very worried. I think you're worried that you're going to make the wrong choice. That's why you need to just trust your heart and your intuition. So I made some cards. So let's see if they have any advice for you here. Pisces, what advice do they have for Pisces in this choice of love? It had nothing to do with you. It was their shit. Okay. So that's a message for somebody. Obviously, that's something from the past. Um, so what message in love? Do we have a second one for Pisces for July of 2021? Is there any other message? Yep. Go for it. So follow your heart. Don't, don't hesitate your heart. Maybe that's telling you that whatever happened in the past that's making you hesitant or whatever hurt you in the past, it wasn't because of you. <laughs> so don't doubt and don't stop trusting yourself so what advice does the tarot have for you pisces what advice does the tarot have what advice does the tarot have so pisces the lovers the knight of wands again and the ten of swords so it's follow your passion follow your heart i got a feeling that the cards are telling you here you're gonna end up going with the knight of wands but each of you will make your own choice but you definitely have a choice and this cycle of heartache this cycle of pain is done it's over the choice in love is here and it's presented yourself and it's going to be passionate and it's going to be filled with a lot of love so your your worry about the past it's, it's telling you to stop worrying about it once you release that worry you got this huge choice here so what do the romance oracle cards have to say for you pisces what's the advice for pisces what do the oracle cards have to say what do you got for pisces Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Do you have any other advice for Pisces? Singles? Oh, yeah, that one came flying. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Don't doubt yourself. I kind of see that recurring theme. Don't doubt yourself. Trust your heart. Okay, Pisces. What's the outcome? What are you going to choose? Of course, it's always free will. And each one of you going to do something different. But let's see what the cards say for fun. What will Pisces decide? What choice will they make? What will happen in July? Yeah, so the Page of Pentacles. What is the outcome for July 2020? The King of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is the choice that you'll make will be a nice, stable, a beginning. You're not going to rush into, you know marriage <laughs> you're gonna take the time you're gonna be passionate but you're gonna be in control of your passions and in control of your emotions um and this is someone that you feel very connected to and you also feel divinely guided this little salamander here is kind of like this is a spiritual connection and it is wow it is your wish fulfillment which one you'll pick if you want my honest opinion is 50 50 some of you are going to pick that page look and some of you are going to pick the wands so some of you are going to it's going to be different for all of you but if you follow your heart, you're going to have your wish fulfillment, which whatever one that you pick and you, and I do see that you guys will start the smart way. You'll start with a, just an offer. Let's get to know each other. Let's start somewhere. We're not getting married tomorrow. All right. So that sounds pretty excited. Your wish fulfillment this month. So Pisces, before we're done, let's get your yes or no questions. So whatever your answer or your question is, send it my way. Pause the video if you have to, but when you're ready, press play. And what's the answer for Pisces? Yes or no? Yes, but not now. So that's what I have, Pisces. Congrats. I hope it works out. Until next time.